The Avapai County Sheriff's Office is seeking information on a cold case double homicide. It's been 19 years since Brandon Rumbaugh and his girlfriend Lisa Guerreri left Scottsdale for a camping trip and never returned. Their bodies were found shot to death, laying in the bed of their 2000 white Ford F-150 parked in a parking lot off Bumblebee Road, just off I-17. Authorities offering a $10,000 cash reward for any information that helps them crack this case. We have a developing story this morning. We are learning a Phoenix police officer is now charged with solicitation of a prostitute. The department says Michael Martinez was arrested yesterday morning. He has now been assigned to work from home while an internal investigation takes place. We have not received a whole lot of details on this case, but we have been told that the department does not believe the incident took place while Martinez was on duty. Enforcement across Arizona on the alert after an inmate just up and walks out of the Pima County Jail. This is the guy who is on the loose, Oscar Alday. The Pima County Sheriff's Department says the 43-year-old walked out of the facility around 1.30 yesterday while other arrestees were being released from custody. So it was that time frame where a lot of people were being released. He just managed to kind of shuffle in with the group and now has escaped. He had been locked up on domestic violence and aggravated assault charges. He's six feet tall, 185 pounds. You can see he's balding with a kind of a buzz cut. He was last seen wearing white boxer shorts and no shoes, but no doubt he's changed his clothes since then. First, right here at five, a man with a gun yelling and pointing it at customers. It happened last night at a North Phoenix convenience store, and Linda Williams is live tonight with what happened and how it finally came to an end. Linda. Well, it ended with that man in the hospital and officially in Phoenix police custody, but not before he caused quite an alarming scene inside and outside the Circle K near 27th Avenue and Northern in Phoenix. Call 911. AJ Girth couldn't quite believe the scene that was unfolding in this Circle K parking lot in North Phoenix Tuesday evening. His wife recorded this man on a bicycle who was ranting. And yes, that is a gun in his hand. You got somebody hiding in your cooler. You got a tall black employee? No, you don't. Girth says moments before, the man who he describes as being under the influence was inside the Circle K behaving erratically. A store manager asked the man to leave or he'd call police. That's when he pulled the gun out and said, I am PD. If you're not a Circle K employee, get the f out. And he started pointing, he pointed it right at Brad, he pointed it right in my face. Girth says it was a terrifying couple of minutes that escalated when a Circle K employee pulled into the parking lot. Hey, back out, back out. Back out, Mike. Back Get out, Mike. Get out. He's got a gun. Phoenix police say they tracked the suspect down in a nearby neighborhood and sent in a canine to remove him when he wouldn't comply. The suspect is in custody in the hospital, recovering from non-life-threatening injuries, according to police. They say when he recovers, they will book him and release his identity. Gertz says he comes to this store regularly and is thankful no one was seriously hurt. It wouldn't surprise me if they get security for this location. They used to years ago, they had security. They need security here. Linda Williams, Fox 10 News. Right now here at 9, take a good look at this suspect. This is 37-year-old Dunsanti Davinsea. He's also known as Juan Nunley Jr. Tucson police say that he tried to kidnap a pregnant realtor as she was showing a home to him. It happened back on October 8th in Tucson. Now, police say that the suspect assaulted the woman with a weapon. She was able to get away and call police. Sadly, though, we've learned she later miscarried. Now, he took off before police got there, but police say he needs to be considered armed and dangerous.